Hey, good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel. As you can see, there's a beautiful day happening here today. Plenty of good sunshine, which is good. Batteries kind of needed a boost. Perfect weather. Yeah, all the panels are in full sun and catching great power today. And that's good. All of my systems were down into about the 60th percentile this morning, which was about the lowest they've been for quite some time. So should get them right back up to pretty good state today. So the biggest draw I have in the entire house is on this one system right here. And it's just always running my 20 cubic foot refrigerator freezer 24 seven. And then also the other thing that runs 24 seven is this little system right here running a five cubic foot freezer all the time. Those are the two biggest things that I have to keep running out here. And then what I call my main house system, I'm not even taxing it very hard right now. It's almost to where I could consider this a complete backup system because my two biggest draws on the place are a refrigerator freezer and then a freezer. Those are the only things that are 24 seven uh, always running and I've got them each independently hooked up where I used to run everything on this system and this could probably do it but now it's almost acting as a backup but I can get days where this will come into play. So a lot of building these systems came by a lot of trial and error. You know I built that main system in the back there that chins system and that was long before I started uh, you know, building smaller systems that are now being more heavily relied on in a day-to-day -day use than what I originally built as the main system. So, uh, and I'll show you why that gives me a lot of comfort. So I'll make my way over to my tablet where uh, I can show you on the Victron apps, um, you know, how I can get some dark days. And I've always showed you guys that, you know, I can go without real good sun production uh, any time of the year and in the past a oh, week or so, you know, the batteries are starting to go down only like I said earlier to about the 60th percentile, which is, you know, that's absolutely fine with these batteries. Um, and then today you get one good day after a week of not so good and those will all boost back up. But I was ready to go with something else just to keep everything running all the time. And nothing like having Victron charge controllers and components uh, to keep a, a guy totally apprised of what's going on. So for this system, what I just showed you that, and I've showed a lot of you guys many times before, is running that 20 cubic foot refrigerator freezer. And, you know, right now there's only 187 watts coming in, voltage 53.64, everything's looking good. And, Let's go to the history real quick and I'll show you. So you can see the past one, two, three, four, I guess it's four days uh, since I've been into full absorption and float. And you can see there it was doing good a week or so ago. But here, the last few days anyway, four days, uh, there was a real downward trend. And I wasn't getting into absorption. And you can see the lowest day, 850 watt hours on a 700 watt array and then, you know, a thousand, a thousand. And then today, you know, the sun comes out real nice, 14 uh, or 1.4 thousand. So, you know, looking really good. So just like one day can make the big difference. I was down to 62% this morning. It's right now up to 82%. So, you know, I'm already in good shape for the day and I'm gonna catch more. And then I go right back to the uh, system here that's running that freezer 24 seven. And right now we're up to 91%. And this one's been holding a little stronger. It wasn't quite down into the low 60th percentile this morning. And if I just go right to where it says freezer, click on that and we'll see the same exact trend. Uh, got a couple hundred Watts coming in right now and see exactly the same kind of trend for the past few days, all the days previous to that. Yeah, no problem. Full charge, absolute full charge. 
into float, everything looking good. And then yesterday, 740 watt hours, and today, you know, 1.16. So, yeah, exactly the same. Looking great. And that's a great, a great percentage to be at at the end of the day. <laughs> and right now, this one, fully 100%. You know, full absorption lights going on right there. Just about ready to shut the panels off and go into float. So, yeah, that feels good to have all that in reserve. So, yeah, you never know what tomorrow is going to bring. So, uh, living 100% off grid and relying on, you know, all of the, you know, sun or not sun. Uh, I'm built really, really well nowadays. Uh, this is a huge difference from the old days where sometimes I had to fire up a generator. I don't have to do that anymore. That's the big thing. And now, you know, a little later in the afternoon, it's not, you know, no blue sky, really. Little bits peeking through here and there, but catching a little less on the arrays right now. But as you could see, I'm in good shape. So yeah, um, yeah, we never know what the next day is gonna bring or the next week or the next two weeks. Um, and I think I've got it pretty well covered. And I find that just to be a very relaxing uh, state of mind on running the household out here. I mean, what one, two, three, four different batteries, and that's with backup, plenty of backup, to get me through a long stretch, because with that main house sitting there right now, the main house bank sitting there full of 600 amp hours, I mean, it could get dark and rainy here for weeks and I, I still wouldn't have to fire up a generator. Uh, and, you know, in my first few years out here, I, I would have to do that. But, you know, I haven't fired up that generator in a very, very long time. And that's always the goal for me. For tomorrow and the next day is not to have to do that. So there is a little method to my madness. And, yeah, there's, you know, a whole bunch of different ways to do it for anybody, whether it's a supplementary power or living full time. And this just kind of came about organically, you know, like I said, I started a long, long time ago with just a few uh, solar panels and a few lead acid batteries. And, and then as you start adding things, you know, you change your systems around a little bit and, and that's okay. That's how it goes. You can just do that uh, as you need build a different little system, you get the idea. So yeah, we don't know what tomorrow brings, but we plan for it, right? Yeah, and when you're planned for it, then you can relax into it. Catch you guys later, aloha. Oh. Beautiful day, everything's full.